hello guys welcome to a new tutorial in this tutorial i'm going to show how to use vlookup function in excel so this is my excel sheet first sheet employee code employee name department designation and salary and this is the second sheet only employee code and card number so now i will show the card number according to the employee code uh, in that case i just copy the um, uh, sheet 2 to sheet 1 and i will display the card number uh, based on employee code in the card number column f column so see that s220 employee code card number is 1012 so now i am gonna add vlookup function so equal to vlookup yes and then now lookup value lookup value is employee code so select employee code column employee code and then table array table array is j and k column select the value in j and k column fresh f4 key in your keyboard to lock yes it's done now comma then put the index from the table array index employee code in one index card now in two index so put one index now you, you can get the employee code in the card number column where the uh, employee code matched with the a, a column yes it's displaying s220 card now column s220 is displaying employee code due to index one so to display uh, to display the um, card number put uh, index two press enter yes now it's displaying the card number based on the employee code okay it's working fine table array in the same sheet if you remove any data from the table array it will be display the card number not applicable na now i'm gonna find the value from another sheet using vlookup so in the card number column just to write the vlookup function and select the lookup value then table array from the different sheet sheet is sheet 2 this uh, and then press f4 in your keyboard and then comma then uh, put the column index column index is 1 comma 0 yes now you can see the employee code from the sheet 2 based on the employee code in a column sheet 1 a column card now is the index 2 so change the index 2 yes now the card number is displaying based on the employee code in the sheet 1 uh, from the sheet 2 okay hope you understand it well thanks for watching this tutorial if you have any query or suggestion please leave a comment i will try to respond to you as soon as possible